Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome, welcome back. I'm here today to do an M Scrapbusters challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper. Uh, yeah, I'm very behind with these, very behind. So I'm starting with the one Melina did last week. And it was these cute little twinches that they're called twinchy clusters. Uh, the base of them is any two inch square piece of cardstock. And then just layer them up with any scraps you've got or anything. So, well, as you can see, mine are already made. We will now go back in time and you can see me make them. So, here I am, ready to start. What I'm using for my twinches is this. Uh, these pages are from the Tim Holtz collection. It's the French Industrial. Um, and the two inch by two inch and I've got a few of these I've had two of these paper packs all together and I've got four of these sheets because I never seem to use these teeny tiny ones so perfect for twinches uh, I did think I had a punch that were two inch by two inch but guess what it ain't <laughs> it's one and a half inch so I did start with me any old scraps and then I'm like oh no I've got to start again so I've got this so I'll be back in two ticks again when this is chopped up so there we have our twinches I've just noticed while cutting this up that it's the same picture on the other side strange 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 I will probably use the ones like this for bases which you look it's time travel again for me you already know that you've seen them and I haven't Give me a clue, what did I do? <laughs> like these, I think they can... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We just grab one, Julie, and decorate it. So I'm going to be decorating it with some Timmy snippets uh, that I've had in Happy Mail. Um, yeah, I'm going to get confused who bought me what now. I've had some from the lovely Laurie over at uh, Enchanted Dreams 71. I'm going to link her channel again. Laurie does some gorgeous stuff, and I think sense of humour is a bit on my wavelength. And I've had some from the lovely Zoe, who does Instagram, and uh, Sylvia, yeah. I think I had two packs of the same ones from different people, but I can never get fed up of using Timmy stuff. Plus, I've got my existing Timmy box. There it is. That's the third one I got. Yeah. So, let's crack on. So, the only stipulation for this challenge is that you must use a twinchy, which is two inch by two inch, and a button. So I've grabbed a random selection of buttons. I'm, I'm not sure to buttons, people. In fact, I've just had a new delivery of buttons today. Woohoo! I'm not even getting those out. I've just buttons everywhere. What is it with buttons? Yeah, Benjamin Button. Right, I'm going to do a bit of drinking, I think, on bases. I might try mass making these three at a time. I think I can do three at a time when they are this small we'll have that one we'll have a plain one and we'll have we'll have one with a bit more on yeah we'll do that so they're just cute little clusters you can use them on journal fronts you can use them inside journals the tuck spots to decorate existing tuck spots or pockets or as i always say anything you make for a journal journal can be slapped on a card blank and turned into a greeting card so I've had a few people say, do I make greeting cards? Yeah, I, I do occasionally now, but quite often I make the cards out of some existing journal ephemera that I've got. Now that's a bit big to be sticking on that twin chin tape. I'm going to empty one of these out. I really, really ought to put these into some trays or dishes, didn't I? Two ticks again. Right, here we go. I've just grabbed lid off this that were already on my desk they like fit inside each other oh, that fits on as then a lid yeah you know what i mean uh, so i'm just gonna pour that one out into there that's i'll tell you which pack it is it's the curator ephemera snippets pack it's got loads of teeny tiny little bits of yumminess in then i've got this one this is the ephemera pack snippets fragments yeah so some of the things in them are pretty similar, so I don't mind having them in the same box together. But as you can see, there's some larger elements in this one. And that's what I'm going to use. I also went and grabbed my box that has my digital labels in. So, yeah, 
it might be scrap busters, but we're busting the Timmy scraps today, yeah. <laughs> and these would have been scraps because I've no idea what else I would have used them for. So let's... Oh, I'm also going to pull from scraps I've got lying on the desk. Like that were from a project the other day. So we can have a bit of that on. I don't know if I'm going to ink everything. Oh, go on, just ink it because Timmy's a bit grungy, isn't he? Not Timmy personally, it's, I'm not trying to say he's never had a bath or anything, do you know what I mean? But Timmy's stuff is a bit grungy. So, yep, that's that. I'm going to pop... I have got butterflies, but I'm only putting butterflies in if the Timmy butterflies. Can we put one on there? I think we can. And then I need to grab a button. That's looking very grunge. I've got a few metal buttons. I like that. I've got one there that's black and silver and then I've got what's that one that's like a coppery one it's plastic though it looks like metal but it isn't and they're not mega thick so mm, yeah that's cluster number one so you can just basically go to town and do what you want honestly my memory is so shocking I've just watched Melina's for a second time and I've completely forgot what she did how mad is that that needs to be a different colour if I'm going to put the green one on. What does that say? Eugene, but I can't read it. It's French. <coughs> also, that was quite fitting that I use the French industrial papers. So, But you can just chuck these together pretty quick. I mean, I am a bit of a hoarder with Timmy snippets. I've just been so fortunate lately to have had quite a few in Happy Mails. So thank you, ladies. A bit more ink on that one. We didn't ink that. And look, I'm embracing Katie Cornered, Catty Wampus, Wonky Donkey. But I'm not going to let the angry baboons come out today. <laughs> I've had a comment from a lovely lady who said she loves my little phrases that I come out with and she's starting to note them down. And I, I, did, I asked her, has she come across the angry baboons yet? So quite often, sometimes I can... Oh, that looks good. I can put too much glue on things. And one video, I'm just like, oh, you don't need that much, woman. It's not like angry, angry baboons are going to come and tear it apart, is it? I'm making these even more simple. I'm using just my glue. I am using my art glitter to dry a bit quicker. But you use what you've got, what you like. There you go. Not even an angry baboon would get that off, I don't think. I don't know, really. I've never really met an angry baboon. Just look like they ought to be angry, don't they? I mean, just a random button on. So I can live with a random button. I like it. I'm thinking I might want to put some fluff under but then that's just messing more isn't it have i got any lace hanging i've got some lace hanging about on my desk Ooh, look at this do, 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 do. all scraps of lace i've got and i'm making new scraps do, there you go <laughs> i think i want to put some lace under that one i've probably made all these pieces too small now aren't i don't put your arm in ink pad. That would just not be good, would it? So put you there. I find um, art glitter sticks. Yeah, fabric fine. And it sticks metal. In fact, the first time I ever saw someone use art glitter glue, it was a junk journal maker called Shelley Geigel. And she f fastened a metal catch onto the front of a mini album so yeah there you go don't know what's in it that makes it so fantabulous but it really is let's have you hanging off a bit as well i'm really embracing that wonkiness today aren't i and it also helps that i'm very late in the day getting this video done there's just been one thing after another i mean <sighs> I pulled my front door handle off. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled it. It just came off in my hand. 
I mean, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know I was that strong. Apparently, I am. Uh, you're gonna go and we're gonna have a butterfly on there, aren't we? I think we need to ink it. Oh, just flick it away. So I'm like, yeah, I need to do something quick. And as I mentioned, I am so far behind now with the M scrap busters. It's one of them, you get you miss one and you're like, oh, I need to catch up. Then the next one comes out and you're like, I've not caught up. And now kids have been on holiday for two weeks and it's got to a point where I'm about four behind. So I've given myself a fresh start and I'm doing the I'm doing the current one. I think she has another one out later today. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. I'll st it'll still appear that I'm a week behind, won't it? Oh well. I'll get there. I do love Melina's ideas. There you go. I mean, how simple is that? But it looks good. I think it does anyway. Maybe I'm just deluded. Yeah, these buttons would fall off now if I pick these up, but once the glue dries, they'll be fine. If you want to go to, to extra trouble of putting some thread through, do that. But sometimes I don't think you always need a bit of thread. Right, I'm going to grab another three random ones. Let's see what we get. As long as they're not ones we've already got. I, d I don't want to use that one because I want to use that with people on in something else. Oh, let's have some red stripes. And we know the same on both sides. Them two, that one's a bit boring, isn't it? We're really going to have to cover that one up well. You know how I said I was just going to get three random ones? I fibbed. I've now got three different ones. Well, one of them's different. Only one's different. But yeah, I really love these. I can see me carrying on after camera stops rolling. So, yeah. Lord knows how many are going to end up in my thumbnail on picture. Right, I think I want something now with a bit of vegetation in it. That could have veg. Oh, I've got a button that might go well with that. I got it out purposely. Oh, no, it done actually. Yeah. So let's find the buttons. Oh, look at that. That's huge. Can we have such a huge button? I don't know. Oh, we've got a wood grain button. I don't know if I like it. And then I've got some teeny tiny buttons. Could I put more than one button on one? If they're teeny and tiny. That's just going to look silly, three of those on, isn't it? I think one of those might be good. I might actually put a button in the middle of a butterfly. If Melina did that, I apologise for subconsciously nicking that idea. What can I say? Call me Ed. I do like those brown buttons. That's a bit, I don't know. When I'm doing grungy, I don't want, oh, that's nice. I don't want really bright buttons. So I am not as bright as a button. Oh, they're nice. Oh, I've got another one with a bit of metal in. That's nice. They're all nice. I'm going to stop saying nice now. <laughs> Sometimes I watch Melina and she tells herself off for how often she says cute. Well, I'm going to tell myself off for how often I'm saying nice. And do you know what? I think that needs something else on it. I know I thought I'd finish that one, but I just spied this in my tray. And I thought, yeah, stick it on. You can just carry on layering these up to your heart's content. I like that. I really do. So, crack on with these next ones. I'm not sure if anything... Oh, what's that? Is that even a Tim Holtz one? Maybe it is. That would go quite nice with that sticker, wouldn't it? With the blues on it and the red. Oh, I like that. It's not my usual cup of tea, but... Yeah, it's good to try different tea. <laughs> oh, if only I knew what on earth I were on about. Whee. So, yeah, I had to wait for... Do you know, I don't know about you, but if I'm waiting for someone to come to house to do something, I just can't settle. I can't get on with doing anything much. So I've done a bit of this, bit of that, bit of other but not much of anything really. 
anyway turned up we've now got a new door handle and a new lock it happens do you know if i put that there i'm going to cover her up the bathing beauty so let's see if i can just stick that underneath yeah yeah and she could have a bluey button or a ready button i just don't like that i want that to go but it doesn't I'm looking at the button at the top of that one. Yeah. I like that one. It's not... I don't even know what colour it is. And I think I want some lace. I'm not going to cut any more lace up. Uh, if I make a couple more, I'll get me... Uh, I nearly called it a naughty word. My really scrappy lace tub. <clears throat> I'll get that out. She needs something else there. Let's just try sprinkling some of these little ones, see what occurs. I like that. Not much, I don't know. No, it's too round. Too round. A little square one. Yeah, I like that. Oh, does that say camellia? It does. It says camellia. And it's spelt right. It's got two L's in it. Uh, those of you who glide people may have realised that my channel name is spelt with one L when 99 times out of 100 the flower, the camellia, is spelt with two L's. But it is named after a street name that is spelt with one L. So, who knew? I didn't know council couldn't spell. I think I'm going to leave that. It's not my favourite, but it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to end up. Uh, oh, I've got a big round clock. Oh, I like that. And let's see, I've got some more scrappy paper here. Again, I think these were bits from that Your Creative Studio box. Yes, they were, definitely. Because kids are on school holiday, so I've not had a good proper tidy up for quite a while in this craft room. I like that. Let's get a bit of ink thrown on it. Placed gently on it. Placed carefully on it. Wee. We've got a wee in. I love inking round things. Something makes me happy about the way that happens. Would it be too obvious to put a button right in the middle of the clock? I think it may be. But it would be too obvious, wouldn't it? Really obvious. I'm going to put uh, something on the clock with a... Hmm. I could put that on the clock. No, it didn't stand out enough, does it? A giant number on the clock. Nah. What about a... I want some kind of word or label. Can you see me fishings? I've tried to place these so you can see what I'm fishing at. For a change. It's just cracking until something takes your eye, isn't it? I think I like that. Now, you know Melina, in her video, we're using her sticky pickup tool. Here we go. I can be very... I can have tunnel vision. In some ways I can think outside box, and in other ways I just do not see the obvious thing that's under my nose. I bought that for gems, so I use it for gems. Yeah. But Melina has pointed out how fabulous it is for itty bitty bits of paper. And I needed someone to tell me or give me permission to use it on paper before I did. Yeah. Could we have a butterfly on? No, we want a button on. Oh, I like that big metal industrial looking button. And that one does not want any lace. This is just a button. Look, I'll... Mine are probably aren't as fancy as Melina's, but just that, look, it just looks good, doesn't it? 
that needs something that needs something else on I'm not sure what I think I want to put that at the top no I don't can I have a butterfly and a button yeah can so even on grungy tumults I've managed to get a few butterflies on the job There are a few things I meant to mention in this video and I've completely forgot what they were. I need to write more down. I'm, I'm going to miss my life. Just writing notes about my life. <laughs> I write that many things down now as it is. It's like, whoa, I think I might just record everything. <laughs> I'll have to think out loud and record it. Yeah, all day. Oh, I love that finger man. Finger man. You know what I mean. It's the... Uh, he needs to go on the next twincher. Right. This one. What can we put on here? I like that big 50 cent. I like the man with the finger. So you can be pointing to tell us that something is 50 cents. And then we can have a moan going like, Oh, that used to be 25 cents. Inflation, eh? I think I'm going to put a bit of paper on underneath with a bit of ink on. I'm really embracing this Katie corneredness, aren't I, today? Who knew I could do it? I set myself little tasks like you must you must learn to do that or stop doing that and I mentioned it in my last video I find it hard to put things on when they're not horizontal or vertical so I think I may have cracked that today I'm gonna to put that on straight just just for the heck of it we'll ink up the finger inky fingers yeah lots of them about when we do junk journaling isn't there We get some on there. We don't want that finger falling off. So, yeah, you can point to that, and we can put some kind of button underneath. I'm just printing buttons on for sake of it, me, but I like it. We could have another. We could have a label on under button for a change. How about that one? No, nah, too many numbers. A label without numbers under the button. That will be good. I know we have some. Red. I don't know. Dare I do red? I think I dare. But I'm just going to tone down the white in the middle. I need to put a bit more ink on that finger. That finger went inky enough. We'll have you hanging off bottom a bit, mate. And which bottom are we going to use? I don't think I like that. Why am I not liking that? I don't really know. Yeah, I'm going to pop that on the label and then I'm going to pop the button somewhere else. Yeah, we can layer up the labels. Is it that button we're going to use? Are we going to use that big chompy button? I were going to use a big chompy button, aren't we? Now, but I'm not liking that at all. Just not feeling that one. I'm going to do that one. This one may be my least favourite. I'll tell you where it all started to go wrong when I put that on straight after I've been doing wonkiness. My wonkiness of donkiness. Oh, we're getting right into it. Right, let's have a... So, I said it was going to be a quick one, this. And I think I'm going to stop at the six. Because my kids are downstairs starving. Absolutely starving. Right, let's see if any of them need jazzing up a bit. That definitely needs jazzing up. And I'm going to jazz it up with, guess what? 
a butterfly. I didn't realise there were so many butterflies in these. I'm quite happy about that. I do like a good Timmy butterfly. Could we... We've used that one already. No, I don't want to use that one. I'm going to stick with this original one that I got out. That's when he starts to go wrong, when you start faffing and second guessing and changing your mind. <clears throat> I'm, I've learnt to accept now to just pop it down if I don't like it. When I come back to it later, I can alter it then. And I have done on occasion. There we go. I'm happy with those now. So there we have twinches. Yeah, snippet twinches. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any of these hanging about, get them out, get them used up. I didn't even dip into this, did I? And oh, I used one. I used one digital label. Yeah, use anything. Oh, you've got hanging about on your desk will do. Paper scraps, whatever you like. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.